What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. If there's anything you guys know about me, you know I'm a huge fan of the Resident Evil franchise. Everything from Resident Evil 1 all the way to 7, Resident Evil 8 Village. I love all of them. But there's always been one that has reigned supreme in my mind and in my life. And that game has been Resident Evil 4. For the people who are my age and younger, uh, 30 to 40, you know how important Resident Evil 4 was when it first came out. It came out on GameCube, later came to PlayStation 2, and then, of course, was ported across the world. Resident Evil 4 is the Resident Evil that I beat more than any other game uh, in the series. I beat Resident Evil over 40 times, and that was back years ago. I think I beat it six or seven times on my Switch recently because it's that serious of a game to me. It means that much to me. I love the gameplay. I love everything about it. Now, of course, I was... You know, extremely excited when I found out they were actually remaking Resident Evil 4 in the same vein as Resident Evil 2 and 3. And um, so I've seen the trailer. Of course, I'm super amped for it. But now Game Informer has released some footage um, from Chapter 5. And I wanted to watch it with you guys, see what I like, maybe what I don't like. Of course, this is um, assets from the internet, so it's not the highest quality 4K resolution. Uh, video, but I want to see what what we can see and tell you guys what I think. So kudos to Game Informer for showing us more. Of course, this is a day one purchase. Oh wow, Ashley looks awesome. Wow, awesome. The same Leon from Two, of course, bringing those together. Awesome. She looks cool, man. Got streaks in her hair. <laughs> this is crazy. This is a serious moment in the game. Ganados. Kelinos, Selinos. Oh man. It looks super cool. Martha Stewart. Oh! Marcus Stewart. I was about to say, Martha Stewart's playing? Smoking weed with Snoop Dogg and playing Resident Evil 4? Damn. That's so original, the Resident Evil 4, the, the way it just shot down. It's great. See, Resident Evil 2, they changed a lot. Hopefully they don't change too much, but they change enough to keep this thing interesting. But shit, it looks incredible, man. That rain. Is he going to catch her like... He should catch her like this. Like he did. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. It doesn't look like they're getting wet. I can't really tell. Maybe they are. Maybe Leon's clothes are getting wet. Hunnigan? Oh, man. This is cool, man. I don't know, man. I mean, if they change enough, but they keep enough of the core gameplay mechanic, this might be game of the year, too. I mean, it's so hard nowadays to be game of the year. There's so many awesome games, man. God of War, you know, geez. Well, that was last year, so this could be this year. So, all right. Forgot we just had a new year. I don't know if I like that rain effect on his head. It looks kind of hazy. See what I mean? It doesn't look very realistic. Maybe it'll look better in higher resolution. This this is a 1080p uh, pull of the video that we're, we're watching here. Hopefully it holds up. Ooh. Let's see. Okay. Splinter Cell, some stealth. That's new. Oh, oh, snap. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh, yeah, pick up that item. Oh, wow, this looks cool, man. Oh, shit. Shoot the foot. Yeah, and then you st you cut, cut the head. Yeah, that's how you do it. You should shoot somebody in the knee. Make him drop down and then you kick him. Whoa, that's cool, man. Oh, wow. Damn. Oh. 
Oh! Whoa! I want to see the knee shot, make somebody go down on their knee, and then you do the roundhouse spinning kick. It looks like that. You, you can see some um, issues with the resolution in these busy scenes. Of course, it doesn't look like this when you actually play the game. Wow. Oh, wow. Los Plagas, man. That looks so cool, man. Uh, she's doing her same thing that she used to do. Just standing there holding her little <laughs> chicken egg. Yeah. The game looks so transformative. It's hard for me to see. Oh, okay, the merchant. Let's see what he looks like. Hello, stranger. Oh, this is cool, man. Grave robber. Okay. Side quests. What? There's side quests in this game? Let's go. This is going to be insane. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you got to be strong carrying everything like that. Wow. This is going to be insane. They got new RPG mechanics, RPG features. Side quests. This is cool, man. I wonder if he's going to have a bigger role because he was always an interesting character, that merchant. He was so interesting, but, you know, they just kind of left him alone forever. If he could have a super cool character reveal, that would be awesome. Man, we've come, we've come so far graphically in the world. Wild Dog Quest. This is going to be slick. I don't know how much I like the Resident Evil 2 and 3 gunplay mechanic. I actually like Resident Evil 4 a little bit more. It was easier to control. There's a lot more, you know, doing, you know, your hand kind of moves all over the place in Resident Evil 2 and 3. Hopefully this one gets back to Resident Evil 4's gameplay mechanic because that was, ah, uh, that's cool. I like the little stealth mechanic, man. Yeah, kick him. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. Oh, wow. This is cool, man. I like how the light looks, too. Oh, this is a creepy place. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. Front kick. He hit in the face with a jump kick. Stuff blowing across the ground. This is wild. Wow. Smoke on the ground. This is wild, man. Oh. Yeah, okay. My first time ever seeing this, and I just said that. It's a... Yeah, making yeah. That tension, like you can't see what you're shooting. Making it hard to see. Yeah. And you know, it'd be great, Marcus, if there's like a rain slider. Well, I like the way the interiors look. Yeah. Salvador. Oh, this is so tight. I love the lighting in this game. You know, like just the uh, the bloom on the. We got some areas where the the um, drywall is. Not drywall, but the wallpaper's torn off the walls. It looks super cool. Ray Trace Reflections. Man, let's go. It's all Ray Trace. You see a little shadows? This is so tight. Let's go. See her shadow? Oh, I love Ray Trace Reflections, man. This is very graphically intense. But I don't like that rain just blasting everything, you know? Oh shit. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that's sick. Oh man, that looks insane. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh man, those Las Plagas, man. They they look perfect. They look perfect. Presumably dead. They look perfect. The graphics have changed so much, it's like I can't figure out what part of the game we're at because it looks so new and, you know, there's so much new life breathed into it. 
Shoot him in the kneecap. Oh, that's so cool, man. The snuff. Snuffing him out. I love how that fire looks, man. It looks like there's the merchants over there, too. This is so cool, man. Okay. The medallions. This is going to be the game. Oh, I think he's going. There's the house. Okay, that's the house. It's kind of an area where, yeah, where they have to hold off like 30 enemies. This is wild. I really like how this looks. What? This didn't happen in the original. Did it? Oh, I think she a feminist. <laughs> you should have called her Senora. <laughs> this looks so cool, man. Cut it. Oh, you can kick those, smash them down. Cool. This looks great. It looks great. At least during our playthrough, the brute first appears, the cow headed enemy. Right. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Got some, re some uh, Call of Duty zombies rebuilding uh, windows. I like that. Oh. Oh man, this is creepy, man. Oh, this is creepy. I saw some people speculating that he might be a single persistent enemy that follows you. I who? Oh, um, to the a guy with a cow mask, a bull mask. Yeah, that was not in the original either. Oh, but I like the way these enemies look. Yeah. <laughs> this is a brand new character. Let's see how that plays out. Oh, he's teeing off on them headshots. I like that snuff. I like snuffing them with that knife. That's so tight. Damn. Ooh. Wow. So the whole system of selling jewels and valuables is in the game. I love it, man. I love it. This, this game is, it was perfect when it came out and, and hopefully they can take it to the next level. Man. I'm trying to hear the music. Oh, what? Oh, man. Wow. Okay, so this is much more RPG heavy. You got side quests. You got cases that give you uh, acid bonuses. That is so cool, man. This is this is fucking. Oh, I'm excited. I'm pretty excited about this one, guys. Um, Resident Evil Four has always been an amazing game. It looks like it's more arcadey than like the Resident Evil Two and Resident Evil Three games that were remade. But that's what Resident Evil Four was. Uh, but the 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 environments look incredible. The enemies look stunning. Look like they got new enemies. The character models look great. Of course, it's the same Leon Kennedy, but Ashley looks great. I just want to see more of the game. I can't wait till it comes out. Um, and it's probably going to be it, my personal my personal game of the year because I love Resident Evil 4 so much. Did you guys notice anything that I missed in this reveal of this gameplay? Let me know in the comments below. Are you a Resident Evil fan? Have you played Resident Evil 4, the original? If you did, how would you compare it to even the new ones that are out now? Make sure you guys give a thumbs up to help us out with the algorithm. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the Beastly Gamer channel. That's me. I'll see you guys next time.